this is what happens when you mix hardcore rap with disco. Let's get into it. Alright man, Torture Talk, you know what it is, it's time to review the new Locks album, Living Off Experience, but before we get into that, like, share, subscribe to the page, if you feel like donating, the cash app, PayPal is in the description, you know, but the best way to support the channel is to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. So you can receive new videos. So. New Locks album. There was no experience. <sighs> so the Locks. Legendary group. Yonkers. Y.O. Zone. Rap Zone legendary group the Locks. So. Let's get into this review man. Alright, so the locks come out with a new album. And I was pretty I was pretty uh I'm not gonna say excited, but I was pretty uh I wanted to hear what they had to say because Jada Kiss just released the album, Styles P just released the album, and nobody really heard from Sheik. And Sheik is one of those slept on goodies, I should say in a way, you know, for at least where we left off at with Sheik. He's a slept on slept on dude. So I feel like I wanted to give this album a shot, and I think they have a podcast coming. I think the Locks is doing a pretty, pretty good job with keeping themselves relevant. So I went into this project a little excited because I'm so used to these dudes rapping together and they coming out with pretty good material together. So this album. It's not good. See, here's the thing. And a lot of people was saying to me, well, you be too hard on these people. Your reviews just, you, why are you doing this? Why? Why do you always do this when it comes to your reviews? You don't like anything. No, I like good music. And this is not good. This is not good. This is what happens when you mix hardcore with disco. It's not good. They have one song on here that I thought was pretty okay. A lot of the songs on here is like they didn't even try. The raps, of course the raps are good. And a lot of y'all can't get past the, that's just, that just these guys just are good rappers. They're not really good song makers anymore. And the thing about this album, there's no growth. These guys are still talking about the same stuff that they talked about years ago. They're still talking about being in the streets and flipping bricks. And he said, oh, well, yeah, that's just for entertainment. My, yo, this my, my boys can understand it. It's terrible. Grow up. These guys need to grow up. As a group, because Jada Kiss last album and Styles last album were pretty good. They seemed like they matured separately, but when they came together, they feel like they're still in that we are the streets mode. And that's not it, dog. That's not it. Mature with your music. You're rapping about the same stuff that you rapped about 10 years ago. Like, come on, give me a and break how am I supposed to grow with you guys if you're not growing up and you and here's the thing a lot of these artists they stay stuck in this mode they stay stuck in this mode because they believe that their hardcore fans are gonna like it I'm a hardcore fan and I don't like it I matured we get it that you guys are from the streets we know we know that you guys flip bricks. We know y'all know killers that shoot people. We know. But what else? This is my problem with a lot of these, these, these older artists who haven't grown up. Grow up. 
man. This album is, is this album is okay at best, but it's like a ten year ago album. If I put this album back then with most of those albums ten years ago, it sounds like it blends right in with it. Let's get to the production. Come on, man. Who made these beats? Who made these beats? Who made these beats? Who made these beats? <laughs> Come on. These joints are not even complete. Like, let's be serious. These beats are not good. They're like, okay, uh, we'll just rap over that. Just, just, just. We'll rap over that. But come on, man. Come on. All these great beat makers out here who are probably not even charging that much. You got some dude or a couple of dudes who just started using Fruity Loops who don't even know how to make instrumentals and they just, you know what it is? What it really is, is a lot of y'all can't survive without samples. That's what it is. A lot of y'all sound really good with samples, y'all can't survive without them. So, what happens? Y'all make these beats, y'all get these guys who don't know nothing about music, and they make these beats, and these beats are terrible. They're terrible. Some of these beats don't even sound like they were mixed well. It's like some of them was okay. The one, the beat with DMX, I liked that beat. Even though I didn't like that song, but I liked that beat. But this, but some of these beats is like, what the f is this? What is this? I felt like throwing my phone. Because I'm like, yo, you guys are rapping over this? Come on, man. No. So the production was bad. It was bad. Bad. Okay, the, the, the raps were good. The raps are always good. I would say this about Sheik. Sheik surprised me. He was all over the place, but he surprised me. A lot of people think Sheik is trash, but I think Sheik is okay. I think he's okay, but he stood out like a sore thumb. He stood out, but I think Sheik is okay. And then you got uh, the sound quality. Nah, it's not it, man. This is not it. I don't know what I don't know what them guys were trying to prove or trying to do with this album. Take that shit back. Put that shit back. Release something else. If you guys want to do hardcore music, just do hardcore music. But I'm saying, as a Locks fan, you niggas need to grow up. Because this shit here sounds like something y'all did 20 years ago. And it's not even good. It's y'all B-side cuts from 20 years ago. Songs that stood out to me... I think the song with Griselda, with Benny and, and Westside, is the best song on the album. I think that that's the best song on the album. But, I don't know, man. Benny verse wasn't that fire this time, though. Maybe because he's on a song with the locks and they're superior MCs to me. So, anyway, like, share, subscribe to the page, Torture to Talk. I gave this album. A light six pushing down to a five because this is a legendary group who can be better and a mind state is so much better now. They can make so much better music, but they choose not to because they just want to get this is a cater album. I'll just cater to you guys. Here, take this. Like no. No, locks, no. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Torch the talk. You know what it is.